very delighted to welcome you all to the UOH behalf of School of Medical Science today's, for today's event. Uh, mental health is important to everyone from every part of life. So moving on to the session, uh, now I'll request Honorable our VC and Dean School of Medical Sciences and guest of the Honor Rajiv Trivedi ji and speaker of the day Dr. E. Navin Kumar Garu and Pro Honorable DSW occupy the dais please. This year, even uh, mental health theme is emphasizing that making mental health for all is a global priority. So to start with, I request Mosami to present token of appreciation to guest of honor Rajiv Trivedi ji. And I request Mosami to present token of appreciation to speaker of the day, Dr. D. Naveen Kumar Garu. And also to present a token of appreciation to the dignitaries occupying on the dais, to our honorable VC. and to uh, DSW of University of Hyderabad. Before we, we moving on to the session, I would like to thank guest of honor Rajiv Trivedi ji and uh, speaker of the day, Dr. Naveen Kumar Garu and all the dignitaries and faculty, all the UOH fraternity uh, for joining us for the today's event. Now I request Dean School of Medical Sciences, Geeta Vimuganti ma'am, to welcome to give the welcome address. Thank you. Can you hear me? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. <laughs> Thank you. So we are here. You know, the reason why I chose this is so that you people are comfortable in this. This is your classroom and the regular place of meet. So instead of hosting this talk, in the seminar room or auditorium, we prefer to come here. We come and meet you here in CIS. That's the reason why I chose. So with that, I thank our vice chancellor for encouraging us to do such programs. And I'm delighted that uh, Dr. Naveen uh, has taken out time from his busy practice. In fact, uh, those of you who are uh, not aware, we, uh, we have an MOU with ESI Super Speciality Hospital. And we plan to have many collaborations on academic as well as research front. And this is the second such, uh, or maybe third such initiative that we have taken of inviting. So, and uh, he's one of those few, his CV will be read later, but he's one of the very few uh, psychiatrists who have specialized in addiction psychiatry. You know, we, word, we use this word, word very commonly. Oh, I'm addicted to tea. I'm addicted to TV, so-and-so is addicted to this. But what exactly is an addiction? It's a, it's a chemistry. The whole uh, body uh, is nothing but an amalgamation of biology, physics, chemistry, and so on. And he would talk about anatomy and chemistry, I guess, to uh, emphasize on the importance of this. And... Uh, I am very grateful to Rajiv Triveji, uh, Triveji, whom I met after many years. And uh, those of you who were there for the other day, uh, talk on cancer awareness. He came like a simple guest and was sitting in the audience. It's only after the whole talk was over, before we were dispersing, that I came to know that he was sitting in the audience, listening to his friends talk. He's such an unassuming person, and I'm very thankful for him. Uh, to accept this uh, in invitation at such a short notice. We will learn more about him. And uh, so this is the to celebrate the World Health Day, World Mental uh, Health. We thought this, this the whole month, though it was on October 10th, we thought we would take up some topic and incidentally everything fell into place. Uh, Naveen agreed to talk on addiction. So that's the reason why we are all here 
to listen to the expert talking on there. So the two experts, Naveen will talk about the brain and addiction, and uh, Triveji Di will talk about the other logistics of um, drugs and substance abuse. So he will talk about other things. But this is just to in, uh, welcome you. Our uh, school has different programs, sir. So uh, we have Masters of Public Health. We have Optometry and Integrated, uh, Integrated Masters in Optometry. And we have PhD in various specializations. And uh, this CIS uh, Center for Integrated Studies is the first three years of the integrated program. All the uh, students have both horizontal as well as vertical integration with other students. So with this brief introduction of the background of this talk, I would now uh, request uh, Krishna Sri to continue the comparing. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for the welcome address of this talk. Now we have a welcome song by Akshara from the Department of Optometry. Logam Muruvan Sokam Pagaranai Sneha Deepa Me Miri Thuraku Logam Muruvan Sokam Pagaranai Sneha Deepa Me Miri Thuraku Kadana Nivarana Kani Vinnurave Kaatin Nadu Vil Vali Theli Kyu Logam Muruvan Sugam Pagaranai Sneha Deepa Me Miri Thuraku Parikshana Thin Vaal Muna Eti Pada Nila Thil Nyangal Shadiyan Rektum Chindi Miri Neer Purayil Tarumbol Tangai Tarnalai Divya Shadiyai Tata Nata Karam Pidiku Logam Muruvan Sukam Pagaranai Sneha Deepa Me Pullil Puvil Puruvil Kilil Vanya Jeevil Vanacharanil Jeeva Bindu Vinnamadam Thogiya Loka Palaga Jagadisha Anandatin Aruna Kiranamai Andakaramadil Avadari Kyu Logam Muruvan Sukam Pagaranai Sneha Deepa Me Miri Thuraku Thank you, Akshara, for such a wonderful start. Moving on to the next session. Now I request Honorable VC Sir to address, give an inaugural address for today's program. Thank you. Thank you for uh, inviting me here. It's a very deep pleasure for me to inaugurate this very important session, Brain and Addiction, Am I at Risk? A very relevant question. I want to formally welcome Rajiv Trivedi ji to the campus and to this hall, to this meeting, and Naveen Kumar Daguduji ji from ESIC Medical College, and of course Geeta Garu and Nagaraj Garu for hand-holding uh, this session. <clears throat> the topic is extremely relevant. It is, of course, a, uh, a disorder in the system, behavioral disorder, addiction that is. But one, when one looks at this addiction as a, as a, as a problem, as an aberration, <clears throat> one would learn 
very, very interesting things. There is a deep neurobiological basis for this addiction that is deep within us. But there are also a lot of external stimuli that conjoin the internal stimuli. It's a very interesting meeting ground between the outside and the inside. The inside part is covered by Naveen Kumar Garu and the outside issues are covered by Trivedi Garu. And both are very, very important. And at this crosstalk, very interesting things happen. So much so that we all realize that mind brain is a good servant, but also is a bad monster. Good servant because it gives you enormous capabilities to understand yourself, to interrogate yourself and get deep insights. We learn so much about ourselves and the surroundings, but then it also becomes a monster because there is a built-in mechanism in this beast called brain or mind, whichever way you think, that there are reward circuits that will start rewarding you for certain things that you may or you may not like. Ultimately, when you become wedded to the reward circuits bad, then it becomes an addiction. If you get wedded to reward circuits which are good, positive, you become enlightened. It's very interestingly double-edged sword. And for all this, there is a basis. People have mapped the circuits. With hard experiment, they have mapped. So much so, that you can actually tinker the circuit that you want now. There is a huge machine brain interface developing. So it is possible that through machine brain interface, we could tinker the circuits which are excessively rewarding you in addiction. It's possible. So it's, a, it's an area that is exciting to learn about, but it is not an area that you want to follow it. So uh, it's, it's going to be a very interesting session because you have two experts from different zones and uh, I came to listen to them so that I also can learn things that uh, uh, give me a lot of insights. So I'm sure all of you are going to enjoy this. <clears throat> For the last two, three days, I think we are having very interesting meetings, thanks to you primarily. <laughs> And thanks to all these young people who are spearheading this campaign <laughs> very ably. And that beautiful, melodious song actually did the setting. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for the inaugural address. Uh, now, moving on to the session. I welcome our Dean from School of Medical Sciences, Geeta Vimaganti, ma'am, to introduce the guest of honor, Rajiv Trivedi ji. Uh, Rajiv Trivedi ji, we are very honored once again. And uh, just to tell you that our uh, university has a cell which prepares the students for civil services. So in fact, DSW may touch upon this. And uh, the presence of people like you in our campus is a source of inspiration to all of them. So that's for that reason, very special reason. I thank you again. Uh, Rajiv Ji was, is an IAS officer from, uh, IPS, sorry, IPS officer, 1986 batch. And uh, he is very decorated officer. He is from Telangana Kada, earlier erstwhile Andhra Pradesh. And uh, his rank is uh, the DGP. He served, uh, he's basically uh, qualified as, a, he has done his uh, BSc. He has done his MBA from Punjab University, Chandigarh. And he worked for some time before he entered into IPS services. He was a system analysis analyst in Tata Consultancy. So those of you who think that, you know, once we enter into any area, that's the entire career. This is a reason to believe that, you know, you can 
change your directions. He was also a teacher like some of us. He was an assistant professor in uh, Jaipur before he took up his, uh, he got selected for the IPS in 1986. He was posted at various places in Rajmandri, Anandpur, Greyhounds, and some of the important uh, postings that he has had. He was the zonal director of Narcotics Control Bureau, Government of India. So those of you who have seen Urta Punjab, yes? We, we hesitate to talk about topics like that, and the, though the movie came, but before and after the controversies continued about Urta Punjab. So, and he's a person who has faced it. He was also a regional commander of, uh, and uh, for United Nations mission to Bosnia. Joint director, AP Police, Police Academy, DIG CID, Hyderabad, additional secretary to government of AP, Home Department, DIG Greyhounds is another important feather in his cap. Additional commissioner of police, crimes and SIT, Hyderabad City Police, IGP and chief of Greyhounds, IGP and Additional Director, AP Academy, Police Academy, Special Director, AP Police Academy, and also I, there are many things I think I would like to hear him more. Principal Secretary to Government, Home Department, Director General, Prisons and Corrective, uh, Correctional Services, where again he made a huge difference to the inmates and to the way it was uh, running. He's a recipient of several awards, the President's uh, Police Medal, Ati Utkrishta Seva Medal, Indian Police Medal for Meritorious Service, United Nations Peacekeeping Medal for his work in Bosnia, V. Varma Trophy for musketry at the Sardar uh, Vallabh Patel National Police Academy, uh, Cup for Swimming. He has interest in two things related to physical activities, swimming and also athlete, athletics. He is both. And he is also one of the very few as is mentioned in the flyer, uh, who has the cross-country swimming. He also received the director's gold medal for the best, right from his training period, best officer's trainee to all these medals. He's very um, highly honored, and that's the reason why I think I found it very, very humbling when I saw him in the audience, just like one of us. And... Um, the Endurance Swimming, English Channel, UK to France in Atlantic Ocean, 40 kilometers in 13 hours. Round of applause. And then Park Strait, Sri Lanka to India in Indian Ocean, 30 kilometers in 12 hours. That's, his, that's the world's record. He's also a runner athlete. Mumbai Marathon in 2010, Mumbai Marathon 2011, and so on. Endurance Triathlon, he completed 25 years, uh, 25 kilometers of swimming from uh, Bhimani Patnam to Vishaka Patnam in the Bay of Bengal, followed by 695 kilometers of cycling from Vishaka Patnam to Hyderabad, followed by 42 kilometers of running in Hyderabad. That's called a triathlon. <laughs> you know, this is something as inspiring as your career, sir. Because that's what I tell my students, that at least one hour of uh, time you have to give to your body. Bona is a minimum. And you have such a beautiful campus, you should practice some of the things that he has excelled in. So with that brief introduction, I don't think I do justice to his uh, credentials. But nevertheless, we are honored, sir. Thank you so much for sparing your time. And he, we, there would be a, a brief presentation from his side. So I would like, the uh, stage is yours, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am, for introducing Rajiv Trivedi ji, sir. Now I uh, welcome our guest of honor, Rajiv Trivedi ji, sir, to address the program. Respected uh, VC Garu, Dr. Geeta Garu, Dr. Naveen Garu, uh, my dear uh, young friends, first of all, my apologies for apologies for being a little late. It is, you know, there's a song by Tracy Chapman. It ain't no good to call the police. Always come late. If they come at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> it applied to me today, but I was definitely going to come. Uh, I had promised Gita Garu. So, 
as uh, vc garu very aptly put it you know i deal with the drugs outside the human body and dr garu deals with drugs outside inside the human body and what happens uh, quickly i would like to just rush through a few slides that are there with me uh, some of them may be interesting some i will rush through because i am sure dr garu is going to come uh, 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 take uh, those subjects so various categories of drugs of abuse are narcotics stimulants depressants hallucinogens anabolic steroids inhalants and there are many other substances also which are abused like tobacco and uh, you know all kinds of uh, thinners paints all kinds of things are there which are uh, which are abused so next so narcotics are also known as opioids and the term narcotic comes from the greek word stupor and originally referred to a variety of substances that dull the senses and relieve the pain opium in our traditionally in our society has been used mostly in north india it was used quite uh, uh, you know widely for relieving pain even even today if you go to western rajasthan areas uh, elderly people they prescribe opium to children if they are crying too much or if they are suffering from some kind of pain and uh, there is a tradition in rajasthan in uh, western rajasthan particular jodhpur jaisalmer barmer areas where if there is a uh, death in the family so like we have 13th day and then we have some prasadam and anadana and all those kind of things there the village elders will sit under a tree and there is a proper way of mixing opium in water in a you know uh, lota i think chambu they call it here in telugu and the host host will offer it like this and everybody has to take it and it's called it's a tradition and if you refuse it you are actually you know disrespecting the host so that is how opm traditionally has been used in our country so of course it is abused also misused also types of narcotics street names are there various narcotics what do what do they look like they are in powder form and they are now in capsules uh, patches uh, uh, let me tell you about opm because uh, i dealt with opm pr predominantly as a narcotic zonal director in jodhpur uh, uh, opm is mostly grown in our country uh, legally in uh, north madhya pradesh and south rajasthan and in parts of uh, up near uh, banaras and there are two opm factories right from the british days uh, uh, which are uh, running in our country which purify opm opm is uh, you know the pattas are given by there's a uh, there's an institution called commissioner of narcotics in gwalior a very senior uh, customs officer is uh, appointed as uh, customs uh, as narcotics commissioner he gives pattas to farmers he decides how much prati acre how much he has to the farmer has to give back to the government so they will decide uh, say 40 kg per acre farmer will come back and say sir varsham padindi idi ayindi adi ayindi 20 kg is vachindi actually he will grow 60 kg so that all that other thing gets diverted and they produce uh, what is called brown sugar it is a very crude form of heroin and if you purify that form further it becomes heroin and uh, that is an extremely potent uh, narcotic drug and brown sugar is very very commonly available in our uh, country unfortunately next then there are stimulants uh, stimulants uh, you know they speed up the body's uh, systems and you have these amphetamines uh, dr garu will cover them more uh, which really you know amphetamines let me tell you worldwide uh, there's a united uh, nations organization of uh, on drugs and crimes they publish a, a annual report today worldwide women are using as much amphetamines as men other drugs men use more but in when it comes to stimulants women are found to be using almost as much as men next then you have still they are also coming in pills powder rocks injectable liquids you know you'll, you'll see a lot of those people you know injecting themselves now even in the if you go to youtube you'll find if you go to philadelphia philadelphia drug menace you will find people on the roads and streets of philadelphia you know just like zombies they are moving around and you know injecting themselves and you know it's a, such a pitiable sight in many of the us uh, cities if you go to youtube you'll find these clips where people are you know just kind of roaming around next then you have depressants you know they'll put you to sleep and they'll relieve anxiety those kind of things next please next please hallucinogens so you know these they alter the perception in the mind so i'm sure dr garu will deal with them more next then uh, okay next please marijuana cannabis 
is another is a very uh, important psychotropic substance uh, which is available in our country very widely actually cannabis indica is indigenous to our country it is our country's plant and now in uh, p countries like canada us uh, australia south africa they have legalized the cultivation of uh, cannabis it is a it is a more of a commerce kind of uh, pro oriented uh, uh, kind of decision rather than actually any welfare oriented de decision business and cannabis is huge business it's in trillions and trillions of dollars uh, but it is also creating trouble next <coughs> Next, please. Yeah. Then steroids, you know, we use steroids uh, commonly and uh, people misuse them uh, like bodybuilders and athletes and all that. Uh, you must have heard the name of Ben Johnson, who was the Canadian athlete who won the 100 meters and then he was deprived of his medal because he was found to be using steroids. Next, please. Next. Inhalants are there. Next. Next. All right. So uh, there is abuse, there is addiction and there is dependence. So, Dr. Garu will cover addiction. Abuse is, you know, when you have uh, controlled substances are used in a manner inconsistent with law and uh, how they are supposed to be legitimately used. So, that is abuse. And then physical, then the physical dependence and then the psychological dependence. Physical dependence may be, you know, like I can't sleep, I have anxiety, so I can't sleep. So, I have to take a sleeping pill or half Zolfresh in the evening, in the night to sleep. Uh, it does not mean addiction. But you know, you're dependent on that to be able to sleep. So that does not, it may not be addiction, but it is physical dependence. Next, addiction and psychological dependence is when you need or craving is there. That is almost going towards addiction. The body craves for it. Like I was DG prisons and I had a lot of these people who were drug peddlers with me and also a lot of people who were drug consumers with me. And drug consumers are a very difficult lot to be, you know, handled in the prisons because they'll have very violent withdrawal systems, uh, symptoms and dealing with them is quite a problem. I'm sure Dr. Garu must be dealing with them. He'll tell more about them. Next, please. Seeking help. See, Hyderabad City Police, most police organizations in our country are oriented towards helping people with, uh, you know, who want to come out of this uh, drug uh, habit. And we have uh, an MOU with uh, Institute of Mental Health, uh, Eragada and Asha Group of Hospitals, Phoenix Rehab Labs. And anyone who wishes to come out of it, can approach the police and through police they can approach these people and they will, uh, you know, help. Next. All right. Now, when we come to our country now, as uh, VC Garu said about the outside, the outside, this is outside India further. We have two major regions in our uh, neighborhood. One is called the Golden Triangle and the other is called the Golden Crescent. I'm sorry, they doesn't. This is the Golden Triangle. Burma, Myanmar, Thailand, and Pakistan, These are the world's biggest opium producing regions, illicit opium producing regions in the world. And uh, we are, you know, stuck between the two of them. And the borders are, as usual, quite porous. Fortunately, on the western side now, we have a huge fence, which is very beautifully guarded by the BSF. I was there on the western fence, so I have seen how BSF operates day and night. And uh, so now what they have started doing is they have started uh, dumping drugs into India and weapons also with drones. You must have heard about it. So they have, you know, have, they keep on evolving new techniques to do business. Next. Now, when it comes to cocaine, the largest cocaine producing area is in South America, starting from Colombia in the top. And then you have uh, uh, Bolivia and uh, Peru. And uh, Colombia was famous for its cartels, uh, drug cartels. And uh, there's a lot of uh, law, law enforcement work going on in Colombia. And off late, Peru and uh, Bolivia have overtaken in terms of quantity of cocaine produced uh, uh, in the world. Next. All right. A very interesting thing. Would you believe there are uh, a very large number of countries who don't have submarines, but drug cartels of South America and Mexico, they have their own submarines which go underwater and they can cross Atlantic right from South America towards Europe and they can even go into the uh, United States and unload their material. So this is a picture of, uh, of course it's a video but I have, I'll not show you the video about Colombian Navy assisted in the arrest of four suspected drug smugglers earlier this month. Submarine carrying 
look at this submarine can you beat it these are made by the drug fellows you can imagine the amount of money that they have next another term that is associated with drug drugs is narco terrorism now there are two types of terrorism related to drugs one is the gangs the whole system of drugs itself is armed and uh, right from production to processing to packing to transportation storage and then distribution across the world it's in a very very organized crime and to support that system they need arms weapons and violence and they are extremely you know ready to use violence if the need arises it's very difficult to handle the drug cartels in uh, uh, south america and in um, uh, uh, mexico and even our drug cartels of uh, uh, in india now uh, they have uh, you know uh, i'm sorry to say but there are nigerian gangs which are operating uh, which uh, kind of distribute drugs in india and these nigerian gangs they come as students or whatever and they have occupied parts of mumbai which have become almost no go zones if you go there they indulge in violence and uh, there's a particular place called mira road and it's a uh, completely occupied by nigerians and they operate the network from there across the country in fact uh, we tried several times to get them deported this that there are so many diplomatic hassles that uh, it's difficult to you know uh, push them out of the country so uh, acha the other terrorism is that the terrorism political terrorism is also funded by narco uh, uh, money so uh you have uh, you know all kinds of how do you think so many terrorist organizations in pakistan survive it's purely because of drug money pakistan itself is going around begging imf for uh, survival of their economy but these organizations don't seem to be suffering because they run on drug money so narco money so the money that comes out of drug illicit drug dealings is called narco money it is laundered it is laundered it is used in uh, uh, financing terrorism it is used in you know the biggest seven star hotels in some of these very fancy uh, 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 places across the world are uh, actually funded by narco money they launder them in uh, you know tourism business in hotels uh, entertainment so i like your you know there's so many accusations of bollywood being funded by you know crime money isn't it so that's how this narco money uh, is used all right so health harm as i said substance of abuse tobacco still uh, rules the roost when it comes to the number of deaths tobacco is the highest then comes alcohol then comes drug but don't underestimate drug by, by looking at this okay of course tobacco and alcohol also we need to be careful about and uh, next <clears throat> now when it comes to distribution of users of selected drugs by sex so you see you know opioids uh, cocaine cannabis uh, new synthetic uh, drugs are there now and then here you see when you come to sedatives tranquilizers and uh, amphetamine you find that you know the the, the females seem to be catching up with the males uh, which is an alarming thing and uh, next young people use more than elderly people uh, when it comes to uh, drug abuse second next <coughs> now uh, see when it comes to drug disorders cannabis uh, is a very major uh, this thing but when it comes to drug related deaths it is the opioids and uh, then uh, drug related treatment is also mostly for opioids and um, uh, cannabis <coughs> next now there has been big talk about you know uh, cannabis business and legalization and all that but legalization of cannabis is you know uh, spiraling into all these things so it's not a very simple thing of you know uh, just uh, legalizing the thing and allowing people to have it and then you have they explain it by saying that you know there is uh, 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 medical uh, research on cbd cannabidiol for cancer and all that they put cancer cancer they will put so that people get impressed go oh, it's being used for cancer research and at the same time they will kind of try to slip in what is called the recreational use of uh, cannabis where the thc the tetrahydrocannabinol the active ingredient of cannabis is used which uh, creates trouble amongst the youth next so yeah again drug users maximum drug users are of cannabis then comes opioids amphetamines cocaine and ecstasy now let's see okay this is where i come in so uh, offenses and punishments next 
see we have a very our strongest act in our country is not the indian penal code it is not the 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 so called terrorist uh, uapa or uh, act but the strongest act in our country is the narcotics drugs and psychotropic substances act of 1985 amended in 2021 it is the strongest act okay and oh, hang on as per section 23 of the act any person who engages in illegal import export transshipment of narcotic drugs psychotropic substances shall have to face punishment ranging from uh, between rigorous imprisonment for 1 to 20 years and fine ranging from 10000 to 2 lakh based on the quantity of the prohibited substance quantity is important as per the act next now specifically section 27 punishment for consumption you know this is where our youth come in our people you know on the uh, society in the society come in of any narcotic drug or psychotropic substance whoever consumes any narcotic drug or psychotropic substance shall be punishable so if you think that you are just consuming and it's very easy to get away it's not that uh it is punishable and uh, uh uh it extends up to one year of course for consumption the punishment is less and fine is less but uh, for the other activities like uh, trafficking it is much much more next yeah punishment for financing you know all this drug activity is financed by you know uh, uh, business groups organized crime groups and so punishment for financing is much more so if you finance or if you harbor the offenders okay then the punishment is much more so you can read this 1 lakh rupees and then it can extend up to uh, uh, 10 years of punishment in my jails uh, in our jails in telangana we have people uh, you know facing 10 years uh, punishment young people uh, i will not name but there's a young very bright girl from delhi university and she's inside for 10 years extremely bright i went there and i said are hey, how is this young girl here so i was told that she is in ndps and she brought something by plane from somewhere and she was caught at the airport and uh, imagine a life completely lost and wasted and there is no there is no um, um, reprieve there is no bail there's nothing she is inside all she managed during corona she her she couldn't even meet her father her father has shifted from delhi and stays in a room here just to, to go occasionally and do mulakat and meet her that's how they are living and she asked me one day sir i have uh, um, i am really getting tired of this life can we can i have some books so i gave all my books that i had uh, i sent to the prison i said give it to her so this is the situation young people there are many others but i was really saddened by the story of that girl next okay so uh, that uh, ends my talk uh, in the end i would like to end with a shloka which says uddharay datmanatmanam na atmanam avsadhiyet atma hai vatmano bandhu ratma hai ripuratmana okay so don't uh, uh, debilitate yourself don't make yourself weak either mentally or physically okay ना आत्मा नम साधे आत्मा है आत्मा बंधु यू आर योर ओन फ्रेंड आत्मा है रूपुर आत्मा ना एंड यू कैन आल्सो बी योर ओन वर्स्ट एनिमी नोबडी एल्स थैंक यू सो मच thank you sir for such a wonderful insights on the narcotic menace and its consequences for enlightening us and moving on to the next session now i would like to invite dr konda v nagaraju garu to introduce today's speaker of the day thank you thank you krishna sri good evening all as per the lancet psychiatry addiction is a complex disease of the complex brain ignoring this fact will only hamper our efforts and effective solutions to manage this phenomenon so good evening my name is dr nagaraju from school of medical sciences university of hyderabad it is my honor to introduce this evening speaker dr navin kumar dagudu associate professor at esic medical college and super specialty hospital sanat nagar hyderabad dr navin has completed his mbbs from the kannur medical college and residency in psychiatry from the shri venkateshwara medical college tirupati 
It's super specialty in addiction psychiatry from National Drug Dependency Treatment Center at Ames, New Delhi. Dr. Naveen has published his uh, work and presented at various national and international journals and conferences. Dr. Naveen comes to us this evening to share his experience and knowledge on the brain and addiction. Am I at risk? Welcome, Dr. Naveen. Thank you. Now I request Dr. Na D. Navin Kumar Garu to share his insight about today's program. Stage is yours. Thank you once again, uh, respected guest of honor, Trivedi sir. It's very honor to having a talk with the policy makers, law enforcers, along with the relevant topic about the substance use and as well as the how the humankind has suffering with this substance users along with the medical conditions direct or indirect with these substances and thank you sir once again opportunity giving opportunity to vc sir and geeta madam this is a very good topic to discuss with every campus every university especially our society our culture need to protect our heritage of the pleasurable substances our heritage of pleasurable activities rather than inviting the, the newer pleasurable substances, newer activities which make us toll off our all lives because of we numbing of all our time and recreations with our professional careers and stresses and these things. So it's a very worthy topic to discuss. Having of a expert level of knowledge to a common people need a gap of the knowledge. The gap should be need to fill. Otherwise, system always in a geopardies, a having of imbalances. Because the experts' opinions are very few in voices. Majority people, the biggest influencers in our society is the naturally the policy makers and as well as the public. Their opinions always have to be respected at the cost of the expert. Already the neuroscience, what we are advancing these things, we have to disseminate. So with this premise, I would like to talk with this. I am not going the details about that. What is the in-depth of the intricacies and technicalities about the addiction? Because to better to understand and having of consensus between us. So individual, I am telling, I am taking the, now my top, topic is restricted to individual. How we are the risk to developing from the initiation of the use of any substance or any behavior having of potential to addiction from use level to the addiction level. So how the, it evolves, how it transform. So with this premise, I would like to give the topic, please next. So this is my disclaimer. I am using here the, uh, all the images and all these are freely available in the net, in the net and as well as there is no funding, I am declare, declaring my nothing's of having interests conflict. And outline of presentation, this is the, first I would like to break the myths of which is there in our common in public, especially focusing in toward the students and as well as and little bit intricacies and as well as what we make us to risk to develop the addiction. So this is the abbreviation of my, this is the traditional format of the presentation. Please bear with me. Uh, yeah, come here. The first myth we are, so we are the, as a students, we are too young. As adolescent or young adults, we are too young. So addiction can't affect us. Addiction is something is chronic use. The 40s and 50 people are there developed, but it's not. Addiction can even without, even you are not born, even in the in womb also, you, you have the chance to addict. If your mother having of using of sleeping pills or something, they are having of habituated to alcohol, habituated to opioid, any other drug, you also having of addicted. Once you born, you will have the withdrawal symptoms. You also having the craving all these things, but you are not able to communicate. So the treatment is required. Yes. The drugs relieve the stress. So they help to deal with the problems. So usually the egg pleasures of various pleasures, academic and as well as peer pleasures and all these things, failure, success. So, but actually drugs temporarily numb you over the problems for a five hours or six hours or 10 hours or at that point of the day. Temporarily, it's a make you numb, make you calm. But in but the even though you calm, you feel numb, the problem is really existing. 
So means the effective way of the coping, effective way of handling something else, not for the with the drugs. Okay. Experimenting with the alcohol is not a big deal because alcohol is a very legal drug. I am once again repeating. Legally available in the society of the any drugs is not a safe. For many various regions, our governments make it to available to public. For for example, alcohol, they need tax money from you. One third of the revenue for any budget for annual budget, they will get that from the through taxes of the either alcohol or through other some other substances, the coffee, tea, all these things. So. Experimenting with the alcohol, may majority people they start with the initially with the one occasional use to, they eventually some people may land into addiction. People will depend depend on the drugs. They made wrong choice. That's why they dependent. So we are the somewhere our dependence medical is a medical problem. Dependence is a health issue. Dependence is a uh, a uh, psycho social biological issue, which is a health pertain point of view. We it has a treatment. We we can able to improve the uh, any condition of the patient, person who is affected with the addiction. You don't target with the character flaw. The choices are wrong. So the person is again to become the stigmatized, again marginalized. They will uh, recruit more and more harmful choices. They will select because I am telling in the prisons. I am working in the AIMS New Delhi. There I have the work with the Tihar jail with the people who are the having of. Much more depend on the drugs because of out of the misery they are the having of opiate withdrawal is at least a 10 to 15 days of very sick withdrawals. So what is there within the their internal market is which is available whatever the substance they get that they used to inject for to self treating of their withdrawals. The first time initiation of intravenous drug abuse is happening 50 to 60 times in their lives in the when they are the incarcerations. I'm I'm little bit more focusing on myths because I need to tell the what is the things. Drugs affect men and women equally. So even the male and female, everybody has the same right. So same way, no. Gender has the differences in terms of the okay treatment and treatment outcome. Gender has if you give the gender sensitive way, way wise of treatment services, the effects and outcomes will be the equal. But addiction progression from used to addiction level, used to dependent level, will be fastly happen in the females. Because of genetical makeup and as well as some constitutional hormonal makeup on our body, alcohol will be absorbed from your stomach to blood will be the more because of deficiency of ADH enzyme in the stomach. There, for various drugs have the various reasons are there. Even for that matter of the estrogen receptor, estrogen receptor having of more and more vulnerable to to get the modulate the dopamine firing. So even for that matter of one year of using of any alcohol or any other substance. The chance of getting to the dependent level of the severity more four times more in the females. So that's why we have to protect our culture, heritage, and inform the child. Using of psychoactive substances or medicines, I am telling. This is called performs performance enhancing medicines. Nowadays, the people are because of exams. We need to focus much more. They used to take the more and more activating or concentration enhancing drugs. See any other is a once it's a become as a medicine, it should be prescribed by the registered practitioner. So they know the aware about that how much the mg, how much the dose, how much the taper we have to do. If you use it in self manner, there will be the chance of the more harms will be chance will be there, and they are the not safe if you are using in a recreational manner. No doubt about it. Lastly, addiction is a problem of willpower. That's why we are making a stringent laws and stringent these things. See, to prevention aspects, for to problem make the arresting of the in initial stages it's okay as a deterrent factor. But once the addiction is happened, the person is succumb into the addiction problem. It's not only the willpower. It's nowhere related to the willpower. Even for that matter of initiation to use level, or initiation to dependent level. See, with your willpower, it doesn't able to come. Yes, spontaneous recovery may happen with the multiple various psychosocial factors. Even for that matter of, I I went for Lord Tirumala. I I pray for the God. Then I wanted to from then onwards I stop my alcohol use. It's happened. It's happened many many people. But why not the all the people it will recover with the the same practice? 
see this is the some sort some sort of the once you land into a medically a dependent level it will need some intervention it needs some evidence based intervention thank you so with this premise how much how many people are having of known about the any sort of the uh, substances apart from the alcohol tobacco can you please volunteer just now sir has enumerated all the range of the these things yeah so people are aware that they are know the aware about the cannabis cocaine and heroin so my topic is relevant so <laughs> so addiction means it's a simple in understanding in terms of that it's a primarily chronic relapsing medical disorder why it's a medical disorder our is a site of the change site of the structurally change because of the only one etiological factor which are we imposing voluntarily first initial some point of time whether it's alcohol or some so and so extra etc drug it take the changes in the brain reward it takes change in the motivational salience about the drug it takes changes about the memory functions in the brain it takes change in the how the way we have to stress responses so these are all the all it constellate make them to the more behavioral manifestation psychological manifestation and as well as spiritual manifestations so it's characterized usually the person how he, they are the able to tell us in terms of the how i am addiction the behavioral if you understand in a chronological of the behavior the person is finding the difficulty in controlling of abstain from the drug having a difficulty finding the control over the initiation sir by the time of evening when i met with my friend i thought it in morning time definitely i should not take today i should not touch my alcohol i don't know by the end of the day i taken the substance it's okay sir one day it happened but it's happening repeatedly so initiation initial initiation control capacity is impairment happen something else i will tell that later on which site of the brain functions are getting lesser control over the uh, which are giving the executory control of the brain functions and something i call the inner desire to take the substance sir initially i met with my friend initial some of some part of the time i used to take the substance along with with that guy by seeing of that guy by seeing of that place by seeing of that same situation again i i rouse my craving desire things which is the unresistible intense that's that's why we call craving it's not simple desire and some sort of the diminish recognition of the problems despite of my liver fatty changes happening despite of my pancreatic problem still i am coming still i am using the alcohol this is usually happening because i am having of giving the treatment in the alcohol liver disease contest and as well as gastrointestinal contest also majority of the people they they diagnose with the alcoholic liver disease alcoholic pancreatitis so and so but some people they are unable to control those are all the people having of maybe they are not recognizing their problems despite they are having of aware about that condition and some sort of dysfunctional emotional responses they usually exhibited and that will eventually lead to substance use just a talk between the a family member just you come early to my home whenever the wife may call to you just come early she is always backing behind me i am frustrated with her with her girl now i will show my care my all my anger by taking with drinking so there's a illogically make the rationalist to use the substances so even for that matter of normal emotional responses become the abnormal way towards the substance use so with this premise the types of drugs you are the all the know that legally available drug like tobacco alcohol sedative hypnotics which are the prescribed one illegal drugs you all doctor sir have already explained about that cannabis opioid heroin and amphetamine type stimulants and uh, as well as lsd in our pubs and rave parties near and out of the metro cities like us the psychedelics are very commonly abusing and very recently the nps this is the substances new psychoactive substances though it's not literally it's a new i will tell cover it later what is the new psychoactive substances everybody after the corona covid 19 times we have to make it definitely aware about that this is the things are activities going on 
dark web and deep web related activities procuring their substances through by means of the internet so they are the this is synthetic designer drugs they are make them to the because of regular markets are broken down because of covid restrictions because of covid losses and recoveries things now the clandestine laboratories they synthesize to the to replacing their heroin replacing their cocaine replacing their cannabis they make to synthesize by the research chemicals by the by using of the uh, self prepared which are the having of very uh, adulterants in that substances also thank you and this also very biggest hidden epidemic we need to having of about the behavioral addictions you all know now nowadays the gambling disorder is a official medical disorder then internet gaming disorder as per the who is given the official classification status you all know about that internet is a very ubiquitous users without what without that we didn't able to possible to compete our works so some people especially vulnerable people like children adolescent why they are vulnerable because their brain gray matter maturation is not still yet completed so diminished the inhibitory control because of the gray matter deficiency whatever the limbic system is telling the limbic system is what they tell i am very emotionally aroused with this by seeing this cartoon so they will be land into cartoon excess watching i am pubg multiplayer online games so these are the all things may, which will make you a virtual identity virtual pleasures without active participation you are getting the pleasures because of the just surfing of your internet screens so the all make us to the more lucrative more easy to get the rewards so getting a completion of the entire the topic reading that and achieving the exam writing the exam in a good manner and achieving the first rank something rank it's a long term it takes some process so it's a very easy to reward so person will be the priority and motivation shift will be happen so these are all the behavioral things are having of potential to having of addiction level then briefly just now i have told that who will be supposed to risk who said i am the risk even i uh, just now i told that without born even just we are the having of life in the world we are at risk only one thing is how we have to regulate our pleasures and emotions and motivations and memories and as well as stress surface stress surfacing things so but in that the science neuroscience are having of come up with the certain genetical vulnerabilities so certain genes are having of polymorphism specifically for certain certain substances having of risk and protective influences in in terms of the once occasional used to the dependent level certain genes gives you personality character personality trait i am telling it's a just it's a one trait it's not the whole diagnosis like a, suppose for example some i am very sensation seeking guy i am little bit bored with a routine task novelty seeking high neuro neuroticism seeking those people are having of more genetically vulnerable they have that at risk so at means is there all the people who are having of neuroticism like me i am a social anxiety guy first initial once once i taking mbbs first year because of my telugu medium from intermediate i am very socially uh, a type of anxious guy i like to avoid but over period of time that gives me reward once i speak to well in in presence of the people then i even in aims new delhi when i in the in front of the all the dais of the international conferences we won the we won the uh, achievements of the best research all these things then it gives a, a long term rewards so in every individual have the potential no doubt about it how every individual is a risk the same way every individual has the potential to channelize which way we have the having of long term rewards at the at the cost of short term reward we are taking a decision to avoid my stressful situation with the short term rewards but at the cost of long term it will be they have the risk long term it has the harms but we are taking this because internet i am surfing my youtube and instagram it gives me immense relax and immense re release but 
within one week we have the exams and something we have the things performance demanding things are there project dr gita madam he is assigned to you is some project for the deadline that by the every day we are just for temporary for today's sake i am avoiding this i am not holding control how much okay we have need i am a sensation seeking guy something i need sensation but how much yes some i have some calculations so that is the way we have to risk and protective things are the balance there yes i am not going detail about that what is the gene markers on our polyphenols next so once we have the genes and having of risk and protection protective aspects the influential level of the uh, course of the substance use how they are the expression is altered again even for the initial for couple of the times of you repeatedly intaking of substance your cyclic amp response element binding protein which is there which is the crux in developing about the dependence first which give make you not the dopamine dopamine is nothing is the influential factor here for to develop the dependence okay for example i will say all of you know that food eating of your favorite food biryani and when you are your intense of thirst when you eat even you drink water also give some sort of the relief and some sort of the pleasure it means in nucleus accumbens there where the area of ventral striatum there is having of 10 to 20 level of daltons levels of the uh, neurotransmitter releasing in the nucleus core nucleus cell sorry nucleus cell that nucleus cell once you having of cocaine with the intranasal root or intravenous root within the fraction of seconds it reaches to the brain it releases to thousands of dalton india once you play you you play the cricket for relentlessly for 2020 or something 50 50 overs match once you get the win you have the level of the dopamine 10 to at least 100 level it's okay we are is a rare movement for us we are pride movement for india we achieve that much of pleasure but without passively you are reaching your brain squeeze that and make you dopamine to release into nucleus accumbens by using of cocaine by using of any other synthetic drugs whether it's a natural or unnatural so what happen our brain will be supposed to defense always imbalance make you balanced by the crab what is this dynorphin level will be increase that's make you decrease the dopamine release in the from the ventral tegmental area to the nucleus accumbens so the person is sir uh, last one week i have taken 90 ml i am good getting a good kick but after then this 90 ml is not sufficient for me i need to more i need to 120 150 one year later 180 five years later two quarters six years later full blown one bottle is required put it my dopamine so brain will be raised with dynorphin new npy cortisol releasing hormone that is the extended amygdala where they are the having of beautifully get the balance Then that's why dependence and tolerance is getting more and more so, okay sir after some period of time i fully motivated i am getting first by the all the my economical physical health all this get did then i would like to stop for the last 6 months i am safe still not why because because of repeated chronic administration of some part of the time then architecture then the cytoskeleton of the cell will be changed so what happen so increasing of dopamine signal is happen so for example the salience i am dopamine signal is already increase this food is not giving something after 6 months my food is not good in tasting enough my sleep is not good enough i am having of not good relational peoples something the stress when make then the trigger the intense dopamine craves much more that negative emotional state creates because of this delta fos b next and some of the negative factors influences the epigenetic changes not only the chronic drug administration the histone acetylation happen that make you more and more uh, stressful responses and as well as anxiety type of response that gives you beautifully withdrawal related craving so that withdrawal related craving the physical withdrawal maybe for the alcohol 7 days to 10 days will be comfortable enough no tremors no palpitations sleep is okay which is there 
for the initial part of the time but behavioral withdrawals it's a tonic withdrawal will be followed for you how long you are abstinent from the drug that much of slowly the tonic phase will be there some point of the that time that threshold will be changed then your choices will be supposed to change may happen to change if you not learned about to this will be happen because of the withdrawal i should not be take substance that should be have the knowledgeable about that or skill enough but the person usually they land into the so six months or or nello baaguna sir complete liver disease cirrhosis of liver diagnosis ayin tarvata but again i don't know oka day edo chinna godu vachindi something a friend ochinadu okasa okasa taavadam start chesa again i am landing with that so these are the things that are happened because of these changes then coming to the neurochemistry i am not going detail about that each substance having of different neurochemical involvement in in production of the rewards in production of the motivational salience in terms of the attentional uh, bias in creation that different different things especially for example alcohol it's a multi uh, targets are there for the in the brain from the range from the dopamine to the opi receptors to endocannabinoid endocannabinoid receptors to the even uh, acetylcholinergic receptors and gabergic receptors all the multiple range whereas the cocaine is purely dopamine related things whereas the mdma and other psychedelics are having of dopamine and as well as 5 ht 2a receptors related the targets are things are there so those are all the neurotransmitters and neurochemistry having of involved certain neurotransmitter certain range of the receptor density creates us to tell us to how much the level of crave i have so this is the very landmark study by the kub and as well as volker et al those people given that by neurobiological contribution for the neuroscience to better to understand what is the biology things are there first broadly we if i say it's binge intoxication first initial in students more and more like to the reward related behavioral patterns like means if i say is a one peg or two peg no it doesn't give me full kick or high or buzz so they need to take the in binge level means at least for example if you say is alcohol five standard drinks it means if you say in indian calculation one international unit if you calculate it's a 10 grams if you say it's a, a 30 ml roughly a 30 ml of imfl we scare brandy which is there five units means 150 ml you if you consume in, in one occasion it's binge eating once the binge drink is change happen you are from brain stem to the your nucleus accumbens which is there in the limbic system dopamine is gets fired what happen over period of time the repeatedly were using that the prefrontal cortex they learned about that and as well as the extended amygdala they learned about to to make you more and more stress creating things even though routine the even prior to starting of your substance use the same scenario is there even after use also but those same situation the environments make you more and more stress so that's what i'm telling the negative reinforcement may come with the internal and as well as external the person is supposed to take the substance not to get the reward not to get the pleasure now to relieving his nervous relieving his anxiety getting of sleep the routine sleep also he needed to depend on the substance that's called negative reinforcement whereas the coming to the preoccupation and as well as those things are there preoccupation is most likely habitualized form that means a person is a uh, becoming more and more ventral striatum which is the there the goal directed activity related the mechanism it eventually leads to dorsal striatal activities much more to direction from the cortical connections so person feel that i am getting something is habituated compulsive without that i didn't feel the relief and norm so those are the biological things are changed here and this slide is showing that see if you see that in this graph first initial some part of time if you see if you take the substance you will get the high okay some part of the time if you feel that low but eventually the the allostatic load whatever the your responsibility role responsibility family responsibilities the so the social pressures whatever there but we have some balance in that but eventually the substance user his balance is not to reach the even normal balance in prior is homeostatic balance becomes the lowest low set point it's a biologically in fixed that so that is the reason they are the having of more and more chronic substances 
even they require not high quantity they require minimal quantity but need substance because otherwise they become normal otherwise they become normal is sleep normal appetite normal relation normal talk normal driving they depend on that so this is the circuitry dysfunctions are having of implicated from the motivation which inner motivation leads to action so i am not going detail about that the dopamine cells which is there in ventral tegmental area having of connection with the basal ganglia from putamen to the it leads to nucleus accumbens core so what happened initial point of time he is a occasional user or as well as a recreational user later on time recreation is request something gold so this is saturday in weekend night i need to party is something okay i am telling relief and some having of goal but whereas over period of time i need every day night that's a compulsion or at least without uh, in saturday may it may comes without the substance i didn't enjoy the party that much of compulsion last graphical representation for this things is a emotional regulation which is there also very important here the crux point actually the whatever the substance or any other behavior whether it's a internet activity or gambling what it may be the salience the predominant recreational choice for me that gives the salience character and as well as appraisal whether the, how much the cost how much i can get it where i can get it how i can procure that salience is usually analyzed by the ventrolateral prefrontal cortex where the it leads to give some information to the dlpfc and eventually all into the relay station of the sensory information for the emotion aspect the anterior medial cingulate cortex which is the implicated and gives the direction to the how much the level of reactivity for that behavioral as well as physiological as well as autonomic as well as hormonal also changes will be happen because of substance uh, angular gyrus superior temporal gyri and as well as amygdala structures so this is all the addiction spectrum spectrum motivation is changed from the reward driven reward anticipation to the slowly making to the it's a it's a one of the goal it's one of the cognitive control is happening with this with this changes happen and this neuroanatomical side sites are implicated and neuro circuitries are happening in these two structures having implicated coming to the individual vulnerable factors so each individual having of inner traits whether we are the naturally we have the more and more uh, behavioral history in childhood or adolescent times more aggressive more adhd or clinical level of diagnosis like a depression adhd conduct disorders are there or autism spectrum disorders are there so this is the give some sort of risk things and parental supervision where the having of permissive to, permissive attitude is there much more and especially in adolescent times before going and after going from the college and student how the where is working where is uh, recreationally participating if the parents are not aware that maybe there is is one of the risk factor for us the students to try to experiment in the society yes unfortunately this cocaine and cannabis these things are the not a human things these are having of drugs once you reach it in a quantity it gives you that type of the salience for you it's not like coffee tea and poor social skills people who are the having of low social communication as well as those people are there become marginalized usually the substance users are having have already having of marginalized habits so they make them to more poor and poor each will individual sharing for that group they have their own norms to share the drugs also and drug experimentation as a character for example i say less than 15 years of age if you started your alcohol use as a first experiment first try four out of 10 they become alcoholic in adulthood this is the i say not dr navin's invention already large epidemiological data is telling like that even for that matter of india though we are the less users even for that matter of alcohol the recent magnitude of substance use survey from the aims new delhi by the ministry of health and family welfare so social justice and empowerment sorry social justice and empowerment have given that 15% of the users in that 5.5% of the people are the harmful users they are already developed the some some way some physical or psychological harm means every 3 out of 1 they have the 
having of homes and availability of drugs at school and campuses is also having of risk factor for the that's why every campus every institution have the a drug policy some regulations and community poverty is a is a macro factor wherever if you see it's a example for example afghanistan golden crescent golden triangle which we see that is a typical example there the societies are having of suffered with the poverty that's why they rely on the for the survey for existence and make them to the more and more illicit works so if you all the opposite end, ends these things positive factors so we can able to analyze if for example i am implying here if you having of some upset for the any examination results or failures or something there whether my choice is need to change drastically is it justified to my change my fate like suppose my choice of coping or at least not to relax or not to pleasure at least coping for the failure i need to change my my choice in a wrongful way that type of critical judgment we can have we can able to think or at least if you not there they are having of well being centers in near and out of the campuses resident well well being centers or something a psychological counseling center like, like madam you live there we can utilize we can have a brief counseling what's wrong going and taking help of a psychiatrist is a strength of the community not a stigma it's a weakness of the community if you are uh, not a, you are neglecting psychological entire one part because physical is a not a whole entity it's a one entity only another half entity is there for the psychological things because brain is a master organ we are becoming a, a human beings a vice chancellor deans and professors all these things because of our brain gives some attitude i am giving some sort of the this type of the services and skills that gives us to a human beings in the society so every failure whether my protection factors and risk factors or risk choices risk practices especially i am seeing that now the breakup parties they used to be much more being that the time to we, we having a norm between our groups it's a norm to have the self medicate with the alcohol okay out of the 10 if you have the follow that culture one may be one may be vulnerable guy will be there he will be succumb because of your friend nine nine people are practicing this much one people are affected so all the factors if, if it is i think so madam this is the next sub subsequent topics i am covering individual substances if you are interested i will continue further more so last this is the, all the factors like psycho biological and social factors social means environmental factors which are we, all we discuss about biological things like genes gender and as well as mental health conditions all will be gives us some sort of the risk and protection aspects environmental factors which is all not see if you observe that are you okay with that these are biological factors are, are under your control genes these are, are are under control your gender is under your control your mental health condition is under your control once it's a disorder i am telling then come to the macro factors chaotic home environment my parents are like that my poverty is like that my community attitude is like that this is all my control but punishment will be there for substance user i am telling for dependent is it justify the people is already struggling for their wrong once they committed the choice in initial early times but the dependent happened sometime later is a really struggling they are aware about that all dependent people they are aware about that without the substance my my life will be not be like that at least i need some substance for to survival for to get the sleep for to get the food for to get the normal behavior i am once again these are all the out of the control and having of ultimately not learn to skills how to live how to get rid of my addiction with evidence based medicine with evidence based psychosocial therapies or evidence based some 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 social intervention like community management or something community reinforcement approach therapies or contingency management therapies so he needs something he needs something help to get rid of from the substance addictions so with this premise icd10 this is the criteria we follow 
it's out of the six we need three criteria should be followed in clinical aspects and it should be the one month sufficient to in together or at least in a 12 months of period last one year it should be have repeatedly present all these three symptoms then already we discussed that dsm 5 criteria which is the developed countries followed the psychiatric conditions about the how to diagnose addiction disorders or substance use disorders so large amount of taking greater desires are there greater time of the spend they find there and craving is there this all tells a impaired control so these are the classical classificatory system for next next yeah coming to the students in general now i tell that something so something i don't know how to entertain myself how to uh, we really recover from this thing this is a common notion while e they are initiating that and difficulty to control my inhibitions sir so i am something i i once my my peer group were there though i am know that my father is alcohol drinker i know that some sort of risk genes are there definitely but i am unable to control though despite i know that this uh, using of pattern is abnormally change still i am having of difficult that and very these student people having of attracted to media and media advertisements and role models especially uh, nowadays in in our 90s and 2000 when our times our rajinikanth and chiranjeevi those people are very propent to using of their cigarettes and as well as alcohol because see they they are the entertainment they are the, their own choices to how to entertain us but some people they are the mimic and try to mimic and some people succumb into dependent so this is again need to balance we are not criticizing our entertainment people there we respect us and there most in students especially students they are ignorant side effects never you say it's a health harms they didn't hear you because that the age is not concerned for that health related effects something evidence based preventive preventive psycho education is required which is the nearly target for the students and gender specific things and in terms of the crisis especially in terms of the crisis only they listen to you this is the common prevailing phenomenon happen in the students which we are the having of evidence also so majority people they used to take the reducing of stress and getting high this is the commonly they taking the substance especially illicit drugs i am telling here next one okay these are the pressures are happening usually from the peer so out of these are the groups are there our norm is to all call people sharing people only our group if i am not using my alcohol i am avoid i, I need to avoid this group or they will make you make you separate this is say we see in the even in the marriage functions also once you having a one group of the people there they used to have the share some substance some this the this type of the especially this is very vulnerable in college student times i'm telling that's why grouping the how the people our our friend how they are there initial the in in elder times they they told that ni friend evaro cheppu one character ni cheptha ana type ka so this is the way the friends are influencing our the choices of the recreation yes so there are the technical things and some high risk periods in student life newly enter into the college time so they feel so for example sir after the m set and uh, sorry we now time m set now it's a neat after the neat <laughs> after the neat i read i read so well so pressure my parents my all the my relatives are i giving identity only when when i become doctor or engineer something so and so so once i enter my medical college or something engineering college now i feel to enjoy i need to some uh, have a fun so feel freedom so that the risk period and especially college time especially our aims fista they are the having of substance sharing is a very very norm in that so celebrating the times and work stress period especially examination times and pre presentations phd sub submissions those the time people are feel that more and more pressure so they some people maybe try to see which type of the coping things we are using and intimacy relationships and their influence the substances also because of college time now this is the uh, almost all maturity reaching times we having of gender identity orientation also achieve that so because of that we we form certain choices so out of that some adversities we can have the some risk of the involvement of substance also so behavioral addiction okay sir these are the substances having of brain 
why you are saying a food addiction why you saying gambling is addiction why you saying internet is addiction i am saying though classification is not yet proved but i will say some clinical scenario case scenario love addiction don't take it as a wrong sense ma okay some people see if it is you see the spectrum of the whole line problematic behavior is started from if you re, if you have the range of your exhibiting of your behavior reaches to the some extreme level the problematic behavior will come though despite that also they are not addicted to they are having a problem because of that excess internet use that's why they are getting headache neck ache refractory errors student may get that because of excess watching of cartoons they miss the academic uh, grades are missing that and some people make show the temper tantrums especially adolescents children when they take it out your cell phone or something internet choice they will be become very adamant not to take the food and the complaints from the parents this is the i am addiction psychiatrist i have seen the number of cases of internet addiction that's why i'm telling but in that problems is recruiting means it's a harms of that particular behavior we are not categorizing to medicalizing jumping to medicalize to every behavior into an addiction mode there is something is addiction is need something criteria should be followed the compulsion to use intense desire to take the and more and more quantity despite of the so for example the uh, gambling disorder if you say it's a gambling disorder he is a recent guy is ca recent the case he is a ca passed out guy he is having a decent job just recently started but because of the gambling and lucrative and it's a happening a couple of one and two times of the success make him to high some sort of the feel good later on his uh, betting things are escalated to the 3 crores and uh, unable to share to the family members and they make into secret and for the living hood now he dependent on the surrounding the, his friends for to livelihood and his family is now is a hands up in state and having of committed two times of suicide whether this phenomena he is no no way is not a depressive guy but he is a he is felt that my my recovery from the again to gamble is not possible sir now now i didn't had any choice now i need to end my life so this is a scenario now we should not intervene at this juncture also then what the use of the neuroscience yeah thank you so commonality for the substance and as well as other behaviors these are the various factors we have to assess for the patient whether the predominance of the pleasure mood because of the using of the gambling only make him to the some sort of the relief and pleasure and tolerance is reached so for initial 1000 rupees betting it make to the one now 1 lakh or 10 lakh that's the quantity is increasing that's a tolerance the withdrawal without gamble that day is so fuzzy irritable and i i i conflict with my family members all these things are happening and getting headache also and because of that behavior i am getting more and more conflicts with the interpersonal intrapersonal and interpersonal and the society thank you once again last last thing so apart from that i am not covering the individual substances last conclusion so this is the one more alcohol and tobacco biggest harms as per the david nutt study just now sir is told that though it's a legal drugs because of the calculated with the health harms road traffic accidents mortality rates all this calculate legally available drugs are causing more uh, trauma more burden to the human next one last one. cannabis i i don't wanted to cover individual substances just like a addiction how we are the risk at this thank you synthetic cannabis nowadays be aware that especially in covid after covid times internet activity make us to new psychoactive substances are very rampantly become marketing and the the couriers online deliveries these are the modality of the market is there so because of they are the these are the research chemicals they are mimic like a herbal they say herbal high legal high a designer drugs but actually they are the chemicals so in natural plant we have the at least cannabidiol cannabivarin these are the anxiolytic psycho brain protective ingredients psychotic ingredient in the cannabis is the thc 
but in synthetic cannabinoids that those things are not there it once you uh, going to deposit in the cannabinoid receptor it's a fully agonist action and reside for the lifetime i am telling lifetime so be aware of that some people may have the vulnerable they will be chance to risk ndps act 1985 so though i am not uh, confronting here this is the all are cognizable acts our indian which is there he say though we we, we don't call but very strict very strict and draconian law we are following that up to so far be aware that the small quantity and commercial quantity of even for the ganja ha charas except bang form for the cannabis be aware that whether we are the how much we are the having of old per, even for the personal consumption also risk is there and uh, the punishments will be very stringent and the ndps act itself it's a still advocacy is there for the mandatory syllabus for the substance use and health related effects in plus 2 and plus 1 standard and every institutions have a anti drug anti drug clubs in the institutions are need to conduct unfortunately still it are the still we are the formulating stage only we are not implementing here next conclusions mama so in the conclusions we are all aware that addiction is a brain disorder all of you agree thank you it is caused by multifactorial it's not only the person who is having choice yes initial selecting of choice is a etiological agent only pathophysiology will be dealt by the many things have some empathy to basically we are the doctors we are the having of to give the help to our clients help to our humanity so be empathetic in terms of the understanding about his genetical risk things brain circuitry dysfunctions that the way we have to give the best treatments and experimentation to addiction level of drug use that is a behavior involves unique neurobiological underpinnings interplay with the psychosocial factors to us so magnitude now it's reaches public health public health level so more attention should be given to individual risk and protective factors since most findings are discussed in relation to the such factors only so relevant holistic approaches is very much required and utilizing of the evidence based medical neurosciences related the pharmacotherapies and psychotherapies where the we are the all sector of the private and government all the sectors are need to incorporate to work along with the legislative who are the policy makers without see our neuroscience can't reach with the policy makers they will doesn't formulate evidence based policy informations thank you one and all sir thank you one and all thank you so much sir for sharing all the useful insights with us now i request our uh, uh, respected dsw sir professor nagaraju to uh, briefly encounter us on this talk thank you so just few short questions anyone wants to ask i'll just ask one i'll set the ball rolling uh, i know of people uh, in circle they talk about functional drug addicts what you mentioned uh they justify saying that uh it doesn't interfere with my my profession my relationship and uh, the counselors also uh promote when they are still at functional stage when drug dependency so do you support it yes ma'am very very good question they are the, though they are the not a say it's a recreational users they definitely it's a, they are using the in a, a almost all a use pattern but they didn't recruit the harms how because some people are too intelligent enough they are aware about that i need to have substance but not to more than two picks i need to have tomorrow i have some assignment first i complete it then i will enjoy i have phd work something to support supposed to submit first i complete it then i will end the saturday weekend party so these are the controlled way of users are very much existence in the society but we don't know how escalated to the how fast they are escalated to the dependent level whether they they have the stagnant at the recreation use level only or they make into the dependent level but the risk is for the new psychoactive substances they initially start with the 
recreational purpose my recreational use only they never come to the dependent pattern for example cocaine see one gram of cocaine is a three cost in the local market for one instance of the cocaine use it takes you hardly 20 minutes to 3 hours of the action after 3 hours again you enter into the crash means you feel the withdrawal to substantiate in a dependent pattern you need a lot much of money need to pour into to procure substance so functionally non impaired substance users are there in the society that's their wisdom they have the handy that's why same like a coffee and tea some people caffeine dependent also there very few people but 99% of the people they are using in the for the recreation purpose within the home purpose within the home or outside the home for recreation for relief and something like that but some substances alcohol tobacco all these things they though they are of not having of harms they are functionally well enough until then it's okay but it's the idea thank you madam yeah, we... yes sir One, uh, one way how uh, these drugs are actually peddled and pushed into the market is by organizing these kind of social events, parties. Now you have actually, uh, it's not that I have a party and I invite you and you and you come and we enjoy. Parties organized by someone, invitations are sent across on uh, network, networks of students, and you know, all this Facebook and all that. You pay and you go and attend the party. And there, uh, you are induced a try change, try change, just a little bit of try change. And the two, three times you take it and you get addicted almost. And then it becomes a compulsive kind of uh, habit for you to go and attend those parties. In fact, uh, I, I, I don't want to make any comment, but the Cordelia Cruz party that took place in Mumbai was one such event and to give hype to those parties they invite you know known faces great people cinema stars and all those and you think that you're part of such a great august gathering and you get induced into that habit so this is how uh, habit formation takes place there's a whole uh, racket of pushing it very well said. I'm sure if you seriously ask yourself, you will have one person in your family, friend, who has, from we talk about rags to riches, I have seen people from riches to rags. The health is deteriorated. One of the high uh, achiever in one of the very, those what we call it as uh, the Facebook, you know, the and Google and all these uh, jobs from $700,000 to now a street player. He has lost everything. He has lost all his savings and he justifies being, uh, that's the reason why I specifically asked. We have lost one friend's son in Goa party, overdose, lying on the Goa beach and pay parents have still not recovered. So we know of all these distant, uh, uh, you know, things. So you heard how, where, where it starts and all the laws and all, you know, what it does to the, bo uh, to the body. We know from our personal experience how it has affected our friends, families who will never recover in that life. And it's just addiction is not of one person. Addiction affects the whole family, the whole society. The, our whole performance goes down. He just talked about IIT. So th this time is not enough. I think we should have series of talks and how to overcome. And we want now students to ask us questions, talk to us. One way traffic doesn't help in this way, but because of uh, lack of time, we would have to end it. And uh, now I request uh, Padmaja to, oh, sorry, sorry, DSW, uh, Dr. Nandaraj. Yes. I just want a couple of points. I think we had a wonderful session where reality came out. But we must also realize that world is too beautiful place to give up. It's such a beautiful happening world, we, us, our surroundings. It is just too beautiful to lose it in this. 
the early we realize that the better it is and one of the ways to realize this the beauty of this world is to get hooked on to some deep passion the moment you get hooked on to a deep positive passion as early as possible in your life cycle the better you are off because all these get protected you get warded off by all this by your positive energy inside this is not there in educational curriculum this is probably not there in most of the family upbringings these days this may not be there in your peer circles this certainly won't be there in your party times this is you do it yourself exercise ultimately the final life cycle is you do it yourself and the mo more you discuss about you think about it in your in your system the more positive things come out and this is not simply a theoretical construct that i am talking to you about this is a real construct people have demonstrated very people to study so i think this is the backdrop but this backdrop can be removed if you decide to remove i think this is this is these are the few thoughts that i wanted to share with you thank you honorable vice chancellor professor bj rao sir respected speakers rajiv trivedi sir as well as satish garu and also our dynamic uh, dean professor uh, geeta vimagandi madam so madam has been one of the role models in our campus both for faculty as well as younger students thank you very much madam for taking all this initiative and also our respected uh, director of cs professor b v sharma sir and all the faculty colleagues students friends non teaching staff so today we have learned two great important insights one from the perspective of nation state and another from the perspective of the body and mind and its uh, of, uh, and its uh, functional and as well as the dysfunctions which causes both the individual as well as the society madam has made one important uh, point with reference to the idea of addiction she said that addiction is a social issue i would also would like to say that addiction is not only social but also is a anti national issue because tomorrow what happens is that when the number of people or the percentage when the percentage goes on increasing day by day let's say the society or nation is going to be deteriorated so far as a children we have read that punjab is one of the brave states of india which is known for supplying the entire armed forces since the british times but now we are forced to see now there are different kinds of uh, image of punjab so friends this kind of uh, let's say hard realities we have to discuss in open because the more we secretly uh, the more we try to hide the more problems we are going to face in the coming future so from the perspective of university i wish to say that with the support of our honorable vice chancellor and other administrative let's say mechanism we have developed uh, uh, the civil service coaching center so thank you very much sir your presence here is going to create a lot of hope among our students i am very happy to say that in the recent upsc exams one of our students pg students he got selected as a ips officer right <laughs> and also sir one of our former student he used to be our senior he is also his name is madhukar shetty is no more unfortunately he was also our student during our student days yeah, right so the point is that when uh, when sari is talking about the different forms of addiction i could uh, sense that he is more or less of my age the people like us we brought up in 1990s right as a youth and uh, slowly we got our let's say degrees and all so the point is that at that time the youth were primarily represented in a positive light the role, the role models are always positive but unfortunately nowadays we have seen all the negative the, the the image of hero has become negative so that's why all of you would agree with me the movies like idiot and like arjun reddy this kind of movies have primarily let's say arjun reddy means uh, that what is singh in hindi uh, gabbar singh 
So, Gabbar Singh, these kind of movies ultimately make us, ultimately, they try to reduce us as a rubber sinks after some time. So, the point is our friends, let us try to be, we need to maintain distance from this kind of addictions. I would like to end by reciting one small poem in Telugu. Tanakopame tanasitru, tanasantame tanakuraksha, tanasantoshame swargamu, tanadukkame narakamandru mahilo sumati. So the essence of this poem is that when you're talking about the human life, you always try to be, your mind is the index of your body. How you want to train your mind, it depends on the discipline and you want to be a good human being. You want to contribute to, uh, to the society as well as to the family. You try to inculcate the positive values. On behalf of the university as a DSW, I assure that we try our best to create number of uh, programs related to awareness and with the help of uh, Geta Madam, we are going to come up with many more programs in the future. Thank you very much, Madam, for giving this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, we are almost at the end of the session and before we are going to out of thanks, uh, now I request Dean and VC, sir, to felicitate the guest of honor and speaker of the day along with the dignitaries are here. And I request faculty also to join them. You can have a wonderful applause. Thank you, ma'am. And now I request uh, Dr. Padmaja, ma'am, to give a word of thanks. After this fantastic session, I'm here to propose. I'm here to propose a vote of thanks. I'll go in the order of presentation. I'll start with uh, Raju, sir. Uh, well, after the after knowing about the wealth and breadth of knowledge and expertise of Raju, sir, I remember a Sanskrit verse, sir. Vidya dadati vinayam vinayadvati patratam patratvadhanam apnoti dhanad dharmam tatasukham. Knowledge makes one humble. Humbleness begets worthiness. Worthiness creates enrichment. Enrichment leads to right conduct. And right conduct bring, brings contentment. Well, sir, I think with the breadth of knowledge and wisdom that you have, and the minimum that we could get today within that short time, I think I uh, um, uh, second our DSW sir in saying that we should have more and more programs as such as this so that we can have the uh, benefit of having the expertise shared by people like both of you. I The same goes to Dr. Naveen also. I have met him at uh, on earlier occasions and I know uh, what a compassionate doctor he is, psychiatrist he is, along with the compassion, I also saw the passion for sharing the knowledge. So I think you're a combination of both. So Dr. Naveen, we are fortunate to have you, sir, as a specialist um, who is professionally trained in dealing with addiction. We have very few people in our country who are professionally trained in this and in that very well-structured and systematic presentation, which gave us insights into dispelling the myths and misconceptions, what is addiction, what is not, what is behavioral addiction, including the technology addiction. Some of us feel a little, you know, uh, majority of us who always work on our uh, smartphones and have become less smarter in the process, uh, probably we all feel a little uh, cautious about our uh, behavior as well. The neurobiology, the genetics of addiction, whatnot, you have covered a wide range of uh, topics. Thank you, sir, for steering the thoughts of the audience um, related to technology, uh, related to addiction including, of course, this te technology addiction that I have been talking about. Um, well, VC, sir, Professor B.J. Rao, sir, as always, in fact, uh, as a part of DSW office, I think we know much more than others how much of an inspiration and motivation he is for us in organizing many such programs. And again, I repeat, uh, we plan to have once again invite uh, Raju, sir, and Dr. Naveen Garu 
in planning a series of programs related to this, sir, uh, with your approval and support. Thank you, sir, for those inspirational words in the beginning. And the speaker of the day I have already spoken about, and thanks to the dynamic lady out there, uh, the Dean Madam, Professor Geeta Vemuganti. Um, she has, it's she's the brain behind this whole program, series of programs which have been, which are being organized, of course, with the support of the entire school and the staff and the faculty, students, as well as the staff, non-teaching staff of the school. I think uh, a lot of appreciation and thanks to the entire uh, team. And of course, DSW, sir, he has summarized. As always, he raises at least, he comes closer to the hearts of the students by raising at least one film which is closer to you. One film or one song which is closer to you and he summarizes. And uh, yes, sir, uh, thank you. And we will sit together to plan many such programs for being here. And of course, the host of the entire, uh, uh, who, who, who has helped uh, in organizing this event over here, uh, Director of uh, CIS, Professor Sharma sir, again, a symbol of humbleness and humility sitting over there without uttering a word. He has been a, a force and source behind uh, the success of this program. Uh, thank you very much, sir. I uh, thank on behalf of uh, the Dean Madam, DSW sir, and, and the entire team, I thank him and his staff for providing us all the support in organizing this program. And uh, of course, the uh, staff of uh, School of Medical Sciences as well as DSW office. And thanks also to all the faculty and staff and students sitting on the other side of the desk uh, and, and being very, uh, uh, very enthusiastically participating in this. So I thank if I have missed anyone, it's only out of oversight. Yeah, the tea. I, Krishna Sri, Krishna will, Krishna will take care of that. Thank you everyone. Thank you all for your patient listening till end of the sessions. Thank you.